hello friends here i have code which converts text to speech and in this video i will show you how to use this code in sketchware so this code contains this initial part which is to be put in on create method and this is the code which is used for initializing the text to speech engine so we have to copy this complete code and go to in sketchware on create event and here we have to add add source directly block in which we can directly put java code and we have to paste it here now in this code this initial part of code is the code which is used for initializing the text to speech engine after this this bracket is for closing the on create event and after closing on create event this text to speech is defined as t1 so this t1 has been used everywhere in this code like here t1 dot set language and t1 equal to new text to speech so that's why it has been defined here outside on create event so that it can be used outside on create also so initially we can also write it as private android or speech dot tts dot text to speech t1 and after this here we can write private void nothing or we can simply put this opening curly bracket this is only because in on create event in sketchware they automatically put a closing curly bracket after this so we have to put an opening curly bracket so that it doesn't cause error so that's why i have written private void nothing and then opening curly bracket and after this sketchware will automatically put closing curly bracket so this will be closed now we have to save this and now in the view area we have to add one edit text field and a button when the button is clicked it will speak the contents of this edit text field so in order to make it speak we have to go to on button click and here we have to create a new string variable let it be text 3 this is a string variable now set this string variable text 3 to edit text 1 get text after this use an add source directly block and in this block we have to put this simple code which is for the TTS to speak so using this code we can make the text to speech to speak now here this text is the string which will be spoken now since our string is text 3 we have to convert it to text 3 now save this and after this use this block on activity pause and in on pause we have to put this code which says if t1 is not equal to null then t1 stop and t1 shut down so whenever the activity will pause it will stop the text to speech engine so that it doesn't keep speaking even after closing the app so for that we have to put this code
Now one important thing to remember is that this code which is for initialization it takes time for initializing especially uh, usually 2 3 seconds so we cannot put it in button one click because it will take time to initialize and then before that speak code cannot be executed so in that case it will not speak on when the button is clicked for the first time now let's write something Hello. when i click the button i can hear the sound probably you cannot hear the sound now since this code is for initialize we can also create a more block and put the code there like here we can create a new more block and write initialize or just write initial now cut this part of code which is for initializing and paste this in this more block and after this we can use the more block here in on activity create Now also it speaks one more thing we can do is we can create on start event and instead of putting the initialize code here we can put it in on activity start in that case it will initialize every time we minimize the app and then go back to the app so that may be a better option in some cases Hello. and suppose if you have no problem with the time it takes for initializing then you can put this code directly in on button click in that case what you have to do is copy this code then delete this initialize block then go to on button click remove this on start activity also and then there is nothing in on create only the def only t1 has been defined as text to speech now in on button click paste the code in the more block then cut this part which is for speak and put it inside the code or inside public void on initialize if status is not equal to text to speech dot error then t1 dot set language local dot uk so after initialization it will set its language and it will speak so we can put this code inside this then save this Now here if I write something and click on the button 
it takes some time and after that it spa starts speaking so you can use it in this way also or if you are using some intent and on activity result for that intent then you can put the code for initialize in on activity result also so i hope this was useful for you thank you very much for watching this video